With the detour going on, it took me 40 minutes to get from my home to the school, which is two blocks. The frustration levels continue to climb just days after traffic routes were changed along a stretch of 52nd Avenue South in Fargo. Valley News Team's Rose Itzkovitz explains why parents who trek to Osgood Elementary say they're already fed up with the chaos. Osgood Elementary mom Brittany Spicer says it took her 40 minutes to drive her son two blocks to school Monday morning following detours added Friday for 52nd Avenue construction. Now the detour started, so now there's hundreds of more cars coming down this street and with no traffic control. There's no lights, there's no four-way stops. Well, I think my husband had experienced probably traffic tripling to like three times this morning. And I'm told this intersection right here at 53rd Street South and 44th Avenue South is causing a lot of problems because it's only a two-way stop, not a four-way stop. So the people coming from this way can just keep going and you just have to wait. The city of Fargo's Kevin Gorder says that area is not part of the detour, but that people may be cutting through there. We're encouraging and all of our signing is encouraging folks to go up to 40th and come back around. Parents also complained about the roundabout, saying people aren't using them correctly. In a roundabout, you yield to get in, and once you're in, you have the right of way all the way until you exit. Gorder says the city of Fargo will keep an eye on the intersections. And we're going to kind of take inventory of them um, and see if it improves over the week and, and see if there's any options. But he says the situation could possibly improve on its own with time. A lot of times in construction zones, that first day is the worst day. And hopefully it does improve since construction's not going anywhere for the rest of the school year and through the summer. In Fargo, Rose Iskovitz, Valley News Live. West Fargo mom Brittany Spicer also says that the school does its best to control traffic every day. We reached out to the West Fargo school system and haven't heard back yet.